What if a fintech app lost 49 crore Indian rupees in just three hours? Welcome to Aaron I, your global lens on cyber truth. Today, we break down how the MoneyView app was breached, who did it, and what went wrong inside its systems. Stay alert, stay secure. On October 27th, the Bengaluru City cybercrime cell confirmed that hackers drained about 49 crore Indian rupees from MoneyView's systems in roughly three hours, using hundreds of mule accounts. Two arrests were made in India, and the scheme appears to span Dubai, China, Hong Kong, and the Philippines. Attackers obtained a privileged API key from MoneyView's backend, likely through leak or insider access. They used foreign VPS servers to send automated payout requests, diverting funds to 653 accounts. Each transaction was small, but the volume was massive. 49 crore Indian rupees moved before systems reacted. Several defenses failed. The API key had too much privilege and was usable from any network. No real-time velocity checks stopped hundreds of payouts. Beneficiary accounts weren't vetted or rate limited. Monitoring delayed the response for hours. In short, static keys, open access, weak alerting. FinTech security demands zero trust rails. Replace static keys with short-lived tokens and mutual TLS. Restrict money movement APIs to private networks. Add real-time risk rules for velocity, geolocation, and new beneficiaries. Enable instant circuit breakers to halt abuse automatically. The theft targeted money views systems, not user balances, but the message is clear. FinTech security fails fast when APIs are exposed. Strong keys, monitoring, and response automation aren't optional, they're survival. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe to Aaron I, and ring the notification bell for more deep dives on technology and security. I'll see you in the next one. This is Aaron I, your global lens on cyber truth. Stay alert. Stay secure.